Top diseases have many common risk factors. This video will explore the risk factors that lead to diseases and what you can do to reduce your risk. A common misconception is that a disease only has risk factors specific to that disease, but this isn't true. Different diseases share many of the same risk factors. This includes things such as obesity, smoking, and lack of physical activity. Therefore, it's important to look at lifestyle factors in order to reduce your risk for many chronic diseases. Risk Factors of High Blood Pressure 1. Age The older you are the greater your risk of hypertension. You are more likely to have high blood pressure if you are over 40 years old. 2. Gender Men are at a greater risk for developing high blood pressure than women are. 3. Race slash ethnicity Hypertension is still more prevalent in African Americans, Latinos, Native Americans, and some Asian populations. 4. Family history of hypertension If high blood pressure runs in your family, you are more at risk for developing it yourself. 5. Diabetes People who have diabetes are at a higher risk for high blood pressure than those that do not. It is estimated that two-thirds of those with diabetes have high blood pressure. 6. Obesity A large, long-term study that tracked more than 500,000 people for approximately 10 years concluded that obesity is a major risk factor for developing high blood pressure. Being overweight increases your risk of developing elevated blood pressure by 30%. 7. Lifestyle factors. Consuming more salt than you should, drinking alcohol excessively, or smoking can all contribute to hypertension. 8. Sleep apnea. When breathing is interrupted during sleep it contributes to high blood pressure and increases your risk of developing heart disease. Risk factors for having a stroke. 1. Race. African Americans are at a higher risk for developing stroke. 2. Age. Stroke is most common in people over the age of 65, but it can occur at any age. 3. Family history of stroke. If you have a family history of stroke, you are at a greater risk of developing it yourself. 4. High blood pressure. Having high blood pressure greatly increases your risk for stroke. 5. Gender. Women are more likely to experience a stroke than men are. However, the good news is that women who take hormone replacement therapy after menopause have a lower risk of stroke than men taking testosterone after age 65. 6. Diabetes People with diabetes are at a higher risk for developing the condition. 7. Heart disease Having heart disease or coronary artery disease increases your risk of experiencing a stroke. 8. Smoking and alcohol consumption Smoking and drinking alcohol excessively can increase your risk of having a stroke. Risk factors for having a heart attack. 1. Age. Heart attacks are most common in people over the age of 55, but they can occur at any age. 2. Family history of heart disease. If you have a family history of having heart disease or vascular disease, you may also be at risk for experiencing it yourself. 3. High blood pressure. Having high blood pressure greatly increases your risk of having a heart attack. 4. Poor diet. Eating foods with high levels of saturated fat, cholesterol, and salt can increase your risk for heart disease. 5. Obesity. Being obese makes you 15 times more likely to develop coronary artery disease. 6. Smoking and tobacco use. Cigarette smokers are at a higher risk for heart disease than non-smokers. Even secondhand smoke can increase your risk of having a heart attack. 7. Lack of exercise. Not being physically active increases your risk of coronary artery disease by 50%. 8. Diabetes. Having diabetes makes you three times more likely to develop coronary artery disease. Risk factors for developing Alzheimer's disease. 1. Age. The older you are, the higher your risk of developing Alzheimer's disease is. The prevalence increases exponentially with age, especially after the age of 85. Researchers have estimated that the risk of Alzheimer's disease is doubled every five years after age 65. 2. Family history. 
If a close relative has been diagnosed with one of the diseases associated with early onset Alzheimer's, such as Down syndrome or Huntington disease, you are at an increased risk for developing it yourself. 3. The AB4 gene. Having one copy of this gene more than doubles your risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. If you have two copies of it, your risk increases eight times. 4. Heart disease and high cholesterol. People who have had a heart attack or stroke are twice as likely to develop Alzheimer's disease. You are also at a greater risk of developing it if you have high cholesterol or diabetes. 5. High blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, especially if it's uncontrolled, your risk of developing Alzheimer's disease is increased by as much as 240%. 6. Lack of exercise. Individuals who lead sedentary lifestyles are at great risk for developing Alzheimer's disease, especially if they also have high blood pressure. 7. Smoking and alcohol. Smoking doubles your risk of developing Alzheimer's disease, as does drinking large amounts of alcohol. 8. Diabetes. People who have diabetes are twice as likely to develop Alzheimer's disease than people without it. Risk factors for developing colon cancer. 1. Age. As we age, our risk of developing colorectal cancer increases. The average age of diagnosis is 71 years old and 90% of cases are found in those 50 or older. However, an increasing number of younger people are getting it. The number of cases under the age of 50 has increased by 60% in the last 30 years. 2. Family history. If you have a close relative who had colon cancer, especially at an early age, you are at an increased risk for developing it yourself. Having a first-degree relative with colon or rectal cancer makes your own risk double. 3. Inflammatory bowel disease. Having an inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis increases your risk of developing colon cancer by 7 to 10 times. 4. Colon polyps. Having one or more polyps in the colon makes you 4 to 6 times more likely to develop colon cancer. 5. Diet. Eating lots of red meat and processed meats increase your risk for developing colon cancer. Diets high in fat are also associated with colon cancer, especially diets high in saturated fat. As well, diets low in fruits and vegetables decrease the amount of fiber found in our intestines and increase the amount of bile we produce, both these things help contribute to colon cancer. 6. Stress and lack of exercise, psychological stress and a lack of physical activity can both contribute to colorectal cancer. 7. Obesity, people who are obese have a higher risk for colorectal cancer than people who are not obese. 8. Antibiotics, Use of antibiotics for more than two years increases your chances of developing colorectal cancer. 9. Asbestos and arsenic. Both of these chemicals increase the risk of developing colorectal cancer. Risk factors for type 2 diabetes. 1. Age. Risk increases with age. Over 50% of Americans diagnosed with diabetes are over 65 years old. However, it also affects people at much younger ages. 2. Race slash ethnicity. The highest rate is among Mexican Americans followed by non-Hispanic African Americans, American Indians, and non-Hispanic whites. 3. Genetics. About 30% of all cases are thought to be hereditary. Having close relatives with diabetes increases your chance of developing it. 4. Weight, overweight, and obesity increase the risk for type 2 diabetes. Body mass index is an important factor in establishing this risk, with a BMI over 25 putting you at increased risk and 1 over 30 increasing your risk by 50%. 5. Diet high in refined grains and sugars. Refined grains and sugars both contribute to the development of type 2 diabetes. 6. Diet high in trans fats. Hydrogenated oils such as margarine trans fats contain unnatural fatty acids that increase risk of diabetes. 7. Lack of physical activity, like colon cancer, a lack of physical activity can contribute to type 2 diabetes. 8. Hypertension, having uncontrolled high blood pressure increases the risk for diabetes. 9. Family history, if you have a close relative who had type 2 diabetes, especially at an early age, you are at an increased risk for developing it yourself. 
Having a first degree relative with type 2 diabetes makes your own risk double. 10. Smoking The risk for type 2 diabetes is twice as high in smokers than non smokers. Conclusion Heart attack, stroke, cancer, and Alzheimer's are just four of the many diseases that share common risk factors. By staying aware of these shared risks, we can help prevent cancer, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease with healthy choices. Heart attack, stroke, and type 2 diabetes are the three leading causes of death worldwide. They also happen to share many risk factors. Abnormal glucose and insulin metabolism, obesity, physical inactivity and smoking all contribute to the development of these diseases, American Heart Association. These risk factors for heart attack can be prevented if we make healthy choices in our daily lives. Obesity and physical inactivity, risk factors for developing cardiovascular disease, CVD, put one at a high risk of developing type 2 diabetes, American Diabetes Association. Obesity also contributes to the development of cancer by altering the balance between energy intake and expenditure, American Cancer Society. A prolonged imbalance can lead to cellular malfunction, which in turn could lead to the development of cancer, World Cancer Research Fund. The risk factors for developing CVD and type 2 diabetes also contribute to the development of Alzheimer's disease. Risk factors such as obesity and physical inactivity affect insulin resistance. This may cause abnormal glucose and insulin metabolism that leads to an increased risk of developing Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's Association. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. Have a great day and here's to your good health.